Bat needs a fragment of the Temple of Light to recover the Shadow Essence. Bring one fast! <laughs> Going. Now let's go see what Bat makes of this thing. This fragment will serve as a talisman. Now I'll need shadow power to attune to it. Wizard, you can give it to me. Hit me with shadow spells. You're saying you want us to attack you? With pleasure. No, Bork. I want the wizard to attack me. The cave there will afford us some privacy.
That is a good start. You didn't pull your punches, did you? Your spells can only give me back so much essence. But with this talisman, you can drain shadow energy from shadow-tainted monsters. There. The talisman is ready. Go and recover some shadow energy. I need to rest here. Go drain the shadow energy from shadow-infused monsters so I can recharge my shadow essence.
The essence here should bring me nearly back to full power. Well done, my son. Your genius is undiminished, despite your insubordination. Look out! What are you doing here, you monster? I have come to talk, nothing more. Surely we can be reasonable, yes? The ether is thin enough that we can finally talk. I warned you, Malori. If you didn't help me break the chains, people would suffer. Mandela is dying. Thousands of innocent people are losing their home, their lives. This is horrible, even for you. This was my second plan for breaking the chains, Raven Child. Don't force me to use my third. Help me destroy the chains before it's too late. Too late for you, you mean. And I'm not who you think I am, Grandfather. But I know all about you. I know what drives you. Your anger, your pain. But I also know the fear you've hidden under them. How small you feel deep down. Enough of this. You know nothing. My offer stands, wizard. Deliver Malori to me, and you will rule the world to come. You've changed, Malori. What happened to you? I learned who I really am. That's what. I'm not afraid of Spider anymore. We can stop him, but we're not finished here yet. Now that Bat has his Shadow Essence back, we need to call on life magic. A lot of life magic. More than a student like me can handle. The anchor sphere the Paradox Chain was attached to was filled with life and death magic. Almost infinite amounts. Fragments of it should work. If any pieces of the blasted thing even hit the wheel, then that's a big if. There's a bunch of fragments close by. I can feel it. Wizard, I'll lead you to them while you watch my back. Beans and I will head back to Samsara and help the Calamar evacuate. Good luck. We'll need it. Bat, you clear the path to the edge of the rift. The wizard and I will meet you there. I can sense the fragments. Those ants are carrying them away. We need to get them back.
There's another fragment close by. A big one. This way! to save my daughter. I had questioned your motives in the past, but I see now that you fight for the spiral. I sense Bartleby has made you his scion. He should have stayed out of this. He's not as good at this game as Spire or I. Game? The lives of everyone in the spiral are on the line, and you call this a game? That's cold. You and Spider have both lost your minds. My child, you need perspective. There was a time before the spiral, and there will be a time after. Something new. You can help me weave it. Spider had the same offer. You get the same answer. No. You needed Spider's heart to make the spiral. What are you going to use if you smash it? You have always been impetuous, but you come by it honestly. I warn you, Shadow cannot be trusted. 
You did. You love Spider. You ripped Spider's heart out but threw yours away. You still love him, I know it. I remember it. Stop this. Enough. I knew my heart would try to stop me. It's why I emptied it of you. Stay on your fool's errand. I will do what must be done. How could she make me so angry? Let's get out of here. The edge of the rift is through here. Are you ready? We can't get any closer to the rift. Malori, get ready to cast your spell. Wizard, take my talisman and put it there. ready. Wizard, lay down the anchor fragments in a circle, and make sure that shadow talisman thingamajig is not inside it. Alright, Bat, do your thing. Ugh, that's it! It's working! Teamwork, huh? <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. Well done. Now let's go. Mandela is saved! We need to move at once! I agree. Oh, great. Here we go again. Hear me out. That's all I ask. It's still not too late, Mallory. You know what your mother wants to do, and you know what must be done. Get me my heart, or I'll destroy you. Don't believe him! In his weakened state, he cannot hope to defeat the three of us. And the ether is still keeping him from fully manifesting. You see, Spider, you can't win. Even your own son won't help you. And what is your grand plan? You can't reach the heart either. And you can't break the chain. Even your own daughter won't break it for you. Don't you get it, you idiots? It's a stalemate. The only way this can end is if you both stand down and make amends. Listen to Malori. She is wiser than either of you. Remember who you were. An endless conflict here and now. Wow, the gang's all here. Any other cosmic forces want to speak up? Hello again, old tree. It's been too long. I'm glad Raven didn't kill you, but she's so consumed by hate she won't stop until we're all dead. You dare judge me, Deceiver? You've infected the wizard with your shadow magic and my child with your madness. The time has come to end this. Goodbye, all of you. Enjoy what time you have left. Soon the Chaos Heart will shatter, and all of this will be swept away. Then I begin again. <sighs> What's she up to now? The time has come, my scion. My eye has foreseen that the three of you will now determine the fate of the Spiral. But I cannot see the outcome. Go to Husk, at the center of Imperia, the primordial forest where I stood in the first world. 
I'm too weak to send you. Use your ship on the aerial. It seems Spark has identified Husk. The pod will take us there, but we don't know what's waiting for us. I have a sinking feeling it's going to involve a few more epic conversations and some fights. Let's go. This is the husk of the primordial forest. It ain't the forlorn tag, that's for sure. Hard to believe this is where the first world began. And where it ended, I can sense the scars of my father's influence here. It's the genesis point for our current existence, and I'm not about to let this be where it ends. Come on, Bartleby's waiting. The situation is dire. Raven has summoned the Storm Titan. His powerful winds cut a path directly through the ether. And now he appears to be siphoning pure storm magic from the Paradox Chain to energize his assaults upon the Chaos Heart. Mercifully, the opposing myth energy of the chain intermittently weakens him, but the heart won't withstand such a beating for long. Worse yet, Raven Snoofalum and all of Spider's shadow sycophants have descended upon the forest and are vying for the heart as well. It's a supernatural free-for-all. Subduing a turbocharged titan won't be easy. This is going to take one formidable plan of attack. All it will take is for each one of you to realize your true purpose and the backing of the primordial trees. They were my companions in the first world. They've remained frozen here, petrified by the horror of the first world's destruction. All trees keep within themselves a record of dramatic changes to their environment. You simply have to know how to access those records. Each grove of primordial trees heard a unique section of the titanic lullaby, the song that first put the titans to sleep. I'm still too weak to sing it by myself. That's why you must conduct the primordial trees in singing the titanic lullaby. How in the literal name of creation are we going to do that? My scion possesses that which can awaken the trees from their slumber, the water from the springs eternal. As for the song, Malori is the key. Ugh, I thought we covered this already. Sorry for the tone, Uncle B, but we gotta speed up the tempo here. Can you skip to the point, please? <laughs> Your tone is precisely the point, Malori. You know you are Raven's love for Spider. Well, that love set the tone for this world. Don't you see, my dear girl, in the great symphony of existence, you are the key in which all divine melodies are played. Oh. Well, all right then. This rendition of the lullaby won't be as powerful as the last, but 
but it should calm the storm titan enough for you to remove him from the chain. Well then, I suppose we've got some destinies to fulfill. Come on, Bat, let's stake out the first Astral Grove. Meet us there, wizard! My scion, use the eternal water to revive the three groves of primordial trees. And of course, watch over Bat and Malori. Use the water you collected from the Springs Eternal to revive the petrified primordial trees so Malori can tune them to the titanic lullaby.